Chris Theogaraja here, Park Avenue Oculoplastic Surgeons, here to talk about uh, sty removal and how that works. Um, usually when um, a patient has had a sty for more than about three or four weeks and they're using warm compresses and not going away, we'll recommend to them to uh, come on in and have us excise the sty. And what that involves is we give you a little numbing shot, a um, little pinch and burn that numbs the eyelid. We go through the inside of the eyelid. We try not to make a cut on the outside. Um, and get rid of all that backed up oil. Remove a little scar tissue. It can be bruised and swollen for um, a couple days just from the numbing shot and the little work we did. Um, I tell patients often um, when they ask me, is the, am I gonna be back to normal tomorrow? And I tell them no. Just like popping a pimple, it's not like you pop a pimple and immediately it looks completely normal. It takes a while for it to settle out, for the swelling to go down, um, and that can take a while. Um, in some patients, they may have a small little bump that just takes a little bit longer, and that's the kind of residual scar tissue that uh, takes a while to self-resolve. Um, all in all, the procedure takes about 10 to 15 minutes, and um, usually it's about three or four days, a little bit of swelling on the eyelid, and essentially after that, it tends to go back to normal. And I tell patients, come back in six weeks if it has not um, completely gone away and most people end up not coming back. That being said, the data shows there's about a 5% chance of the sty coming back. Um, hopefully that helps you and uh, if you're going to undergo a sty removal, um, gives you the basic pointers of what's going to happen. I have a video also online that actually shows me removing a sty of a patient. Um, hope that helps.